Hi everyone, so this is going to be my best beauty products of 2013. I haven't really got a lot of products just because I mainly stick to the same products over and over again and I didn't exactly buy them this year um, or I haven't really used them that much to say if I like them or not. So this is why I suppose products um, and I'll get right into it. So I'm going to start with body care just because there isn't actually that many, there's only one product for body care. Um, I'm not really a body care person because I'm so damn lazy in actually doing anything body care related so um, I'm really lazy at moisturising. Um, so I've got this product which is the Nivea In The Shower Body Moisturiser. This sounds perfect for me because when I have my showers, I usually just use a bog standard shower, um, shower gel, isn't it? Body lotion thing. Um, so, and I usually don't moisturise that often. And I've always wanted to moisturise about two, like two, every two days or something. But I don't actually moisturise, which is quite annoying. Um, but I can't be bothered to, to be honest. So, for me, this sounds perfect because it's obviously a shower gel plus a body moisturiser all in one which is fantastic and um, it's an in-shower body moisturiser so what you do is you put it on, lather it all up um, rub it on your body and then you wash it off and then instantly your skin feels really really soft and gentle and a lot better really than what it was beforehand and you can definitely tell the difference when you have used it after you've had a shower um, it says use after cleansing, rinse off. It's not a um, leave on one, but it's a rinse off one, but it's really, really good. I really like it. It's quite a big bottle, and I think I've nearly used most of it already. So, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like it. The next one is a hair care palette, and this is the only one I have, and it's made my hair... It's made me like my hair a lot more than what I used to, and this is the John Frieda Frizzies Hair Serum. No, spray gel. That's it. Um, I never really used to like my hair because I never found anything to work with it and bring out the curls like this. Um, with frizzy hair or with curly hair, you do it with frizz, so it's not really nice to wear down all the time. But I found this product and it's amazing. Literally. Um, when I get up in the morning, I don't really brush my hair um, if I'm going to use this because if I brush my hair, all the curls will actually um, go out of my hair and it won't be curly, it'll just be a frizz bomb basically. So I use this when I get up and it literally keeps the curls in place. You can scrunch your hair up to make it more curly. It's really, really good in keeping the curls there and it's really to stay in all day. It's a really good product for that um, as you can see I've used about half of it already and I've brought it back up one as well um, it does make your hair feel a bit crunchy and um, when you brush it out it's really really horrible um, unless you actually wash it out but if you're not planning to wash your hair then it really does hurt to get it out because you brush through the knots and everything else and I would recommend it to anyone who has got curly hair like me and want to get their curls stand out without the frizz. This is a really good product. Fantastic. Um, the next one is the only skincare product as well. Um, I have been trying skincare products. I really have but um, I think it's really worked for me. Um, I tried the Efficlair Duo by La Roche Pose. That didn't work so that didn't include be included in this. I have tried a few products and nothing really worked for me. Um, I have been trying this next product for about 2-3 weeks now so it's still sort of on trial for me and I'm still trying it out um, so I definitely won't give a overview just yet, um, like a full review because I need to try it out a lot more. But it's up, I think it's, this is how you say it, Bior, Bior, I think that's how you spell it. Um, it's a blemish fighting ice cleanser and this is a clears and cools, helps leave your skin clear by removing over 99% of dirt and oil and this is complexion clearing, salicylic acid and oil free. Um, it's really really good, it's quite a big bottle, 200ml in it and um, 
I never really heard about this product until um, I noticed that Boots were having a half price sale on this and they sort of had it on the top, um, what do you call it, top shelf with like buy all half price or something and um, so I thought oh I'll give that a go because I've never tried anything from them before and um, I tried it um, about three weeks ago it's got a bit of a scent it's not too overpowering it's really quite a nice scent um, it's literally a clear gel you put on and obviously when you put it on it goes into a lather white lather so obviously um, to make it work you do need to rub in quite a lot to make it lather up but it's really nice um, gotta say you can definitely tell it's a bit icy and a bit cooling because you can definitely tell when you put it on um, it's not, it doesn't sting or anything it just feels a bit cool um, which obviously if you don't like that on your face it's, this might not be for you um, and try not to get it in your eye because I did that yesterday and it stings to high heaven it's made my skin a lot better than what it was obviously I still get blemishes just because you know, I've got a blemish prone skin and I probably would never get rid of that. I don't think any product will. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Um, I'm still trying it out just now, but at the moment I really do like it. Uh, this is 4 99 from Boots and Superdrug and online. Um, so yeah, I'm really interesting to try the other products from them. So yes, that's that one. Now for makeup brushes, it's got to be the... Um, Pixie Woo or Sam, is it first? No, Sam Chapman, isn't it? Yeah, Real Techniques brushes. Um, I, the only two I actually use are the Powder or Blusher brush. I don't know what you call this one. Yeah, Blush brush is this one in the pink packaging. And then I use the foundation brush, which is quite monkey because I've used it quite a lot. But uh, these two are really good. This is really good at um, it's like a tapered effect, as you can probably tell. Um, it's really good to see how much product you got on because it's a white tip and you can see how much product there is on and it doesn't overpower the brush and it can easy, easily apply um, really strong blushes it's really good for that um, yeah I really like it, no shedding whatsoever and the foundation brush is really good, it's really quite stiff and short so I never had a um, angled one, I usually had those round ones but this is really good and it's quite small I get into those creases and yeah it's really good at applying foundation I really like it so for brushes it has to be Pixie Woo or Sam Chapman brushes so that's those two and then for foundation it has to be the 17 on the spot foundation this is the only foundation I've actually liked this year um, it's really good I can see I've probably used most of it now as you can see um, I did a review on this so if you want to see the video I will leave it in the down bar for you um, to give you a full review on it um, but yeah it definitely I don't think it helped so much with my spots but the coverage was medium um, the colour was perfect it's porcelain they did have one I think it's one another fair one lighter than this one so they do have different um, tones in there um, it was really good, um, it lasted most of the day, I think I did need a powder touch up um, and in my video I did say it sort of oxidizes in some places but most of my face was fine, just one bit where I think it's quite common for me, I don't know why um, but yeah, so I've got SPF 15 in there and as you can tell I've used most of it so I must have loved it so that's that one, um, so yes um, concealer wise I have been trying so many um, this year because I wanted to go away from my collection 2000 last time with concealer um, and I've tried quite a few I've tried the Maybelline one, Rimmel one I've tried so many and none of them actually worked um, and I came across this one about two weeks ago so it's pretty new to me it's the Revlon Colour Stay concealer I never thought this would actually be was out. I don't know if this is a new edition or something, but I think it sort of go alongside the foundation which I'm currently wearing, which is the collection to the not collection. Rim um Revlon colour stay one. Um this is sort of like exactly the same. This is unfair, which is the lightest one. 
And I've got to say, um, compared to my collection one, it looks quite, it, it looks a bit darker and a bit more, I don't know, warm toned I suppose, it's not too white I suppose, it's definitely a lot more natural looking. And for me, with the Revlon Colourstay, which I use in bus, it blends easily and it's, the colour is perfect, it blends easily. The thing is, it doesn't really cover up that well in spots, so you do have to layer it. Only about two or three layers, you know, it's not too much. But um, it definitely does help, it definitely does stay all day, unless you rub it off. It's perfect, so that's that one. Talking of keeping my makeup in place all day and I've got the Collection 2000 or Collection they call it now Fix Me Up Long Lasting Fixer um, This is quite a small bottle, it's like 15ml, no 18ml um, and I don't know when this came out but I only bought it this year and I've got to say it's really really good um, I use this mainly in the summer when it's got really hot and you know sweating and uh, like that um, and this definitely just keep, keep my makeup in place. Um, I can say it definitely cooled me down quite a bit and definitely kept my makeup in place all day and only cost like under a fiver which is brilliant, it's perfect. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the Max Fix Plus one or um, is it quarterly beauty something, the quarterly one, um, but this is just as good. I like it so that's brilliant. Um, now moving on to lips, I've got three products here, two Revlon lip butters and they are in Cotton Candy and Sweet Tart and Sweet Tart is quite a dark one but quite a bright one as well um, it's near enough my lip colour, it's just a little bit brighter than my lip colour but it's a perfect one for um, bright lips and I like it definitely very, um, what do you call it? softening and moisturising because that's that one and then the cotton candy one I really like yeah this is the one I like because it's got like shimmer going through it and it's a nice pale pink colour I like it and these don't obviously last all day but they do last for some time and obviously if you drink and eat it will obviously take off the power a lot more so that's those two and then I've got one lip care which is the mainly baby lips, I think this is a hydrate one this in the green packaging and no, mint one, that's it, mint one yes, yeah, mint one, I love anything mint, I love it um, it's definitely refreshing on the lips, like a balm um, it's brilliant, I like it, it definitely moisturises love it and then the last two products are actually eye makeup and I've got an, I got an MUA Pro Base Eye Primer um, this is only like the second primer I've actually tried um, but this is really good it's like a champagne neutral colour and they do put those for applicator and it's quite liquidy but it's easy to um, blend in and put all around your eye makeup um, eye area even it's really good for like a couple of pounds brilliant and definitely does make your eye makeup stay on all day which is really good so I like that one and the last one is Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner this year have been, has been a big year for me in actually trying to achieve um, liquid eyeliner this has definitely helped me because it's, I find this a lot better than everything else gel is alright um, the other liquid liner I like the brushes are too long and it's too flexible whereas this is like a felt tip and I find this is a lot better um, to control and it's a lot finer, the line is a lot finer um, and this is what I've used to actually um, make me come really good at doing this um, the liquid eyeliner I never was that good before but now I've got this, it's brilliant this is what I've learnt with and I've got to say it's really really good um, it lasts all day and I've hardly made any mistakes from this because it's so fine and it's so good um, it's very detailed, you know, you do detailed eye makeup so that's really really good, that one so yes, they were all the best products of 2013 I might not have as many as many people but I do get stuck in these sort of 
ways where I just like to keep on using the same products over and over again if I like them whereas really I don't really try and experiment as much which I will do um, I will try to do so yes please let please let me know if you have any favourites of 2013 thank you for watching please comment right subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye